To get the most out of your Valorant experience, you need to get your settings right first. A good crosshair is important in games that rely on aiming and accuracy. Today I'm showing you what settings you should look at for your crosshair and what the best crosshair is for you. These crosshair settings are similar to a lot of high profile players and streamers as well. So let's get into it. Why is a good crosshair important? You need to be as accurate as possible without losing focus. You need to find the balance between the visibility of where you are shooting without preventing you from losing your focus by your own crosshair. Let's start with the color. To make sure your crosshair is visible but not making you lose focus because it's too bright, choose one of the following colors. Pink, red, white or green. These colors are best for visibility on most of the maps without being too dominant on your screen. Some would say red or pink is too dominant but if you can handle it I think they are really good. Colors are mostly preference though, but these colors are preferred by most. Let's go through the rest of the settings. You don't want outlines on your crosshair. They don't give you any advantage but will distract you and impair your vision, so keep that off. Outline opacity and thickness can be set to zero because we will not be using outlines at all. The center dot is also a big fat no. You want the middle of your crosshair to be as clean as possible. Nothing can be in the middle because you need to know, especially from far, if you have their heads right in the middle. Everything that will be a distraction will not help you in Valorant. Center dot opacity and thickness will be turned off. Also do not turn on fade crosshair with firing error. Next up is the inner line. This is your main crosshair and the most important part. We are going for a clean and visible but not too distracting inner line. We will make the opacity 1 so it is visible in every situation. The length will be at 7. Everything higher than that will be unnecessary screen blur and everything below will be just too invisible. The inner line thickness will be at 2. This is a good middle ground and it will make sure it is visible but not too dominant. You also don't want it too slim because it will be unclear in my opinion. The offset is the space in the middle of your crosshair. Try to keep it tight but not too open. I keep it at 4 so I can see everything in the middle and know exactly where my shot will go. Movement error and firing errors are made to help newer players to this type of shooter. It will show you how accurate you are when moving too much or spamming shots. You'll see the outer line on the crosshair get bigger the more you move or shoot. So if you are a beginner, you can turn it on. I would not recommend it to anyone than absolute beginners though. Again, just more distraction on your screen. Next up is the outer line. This line is made on the outside of your crosshair. I strongly recommend not turning this on in any situation, even beginners. Having an extra outline around your crosshair will not do anything for you. It will just be more visual blur and it will distract even if you do not think so. Keep it as clean as you can. So slide everything to zero and turn movement error and firing error off. So these are my preferred crosshair settings. A lot of high profile players have something similar. This does not mean that everyone that is good at this game has a similar one. And of course you can do well with another style of the crosshair. This is just the most common and best for high level play and it will help you improve. If you enjoyed this guide, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next video.